Code of Octopus was going to talk about its new sonar. In fact, they're doing online seminars this week. The original Echoscope was probably the world's first sonar system that allowed moving objects in the water column to be viewed in real time, which made it the first truly four-dimensional sonar. Now, Code of Octopus have released 5D and 6D sonars. So, the sonar used to send out pings consisting of 1 to 8 by 1 to 8 beams, giving a maximum 16,000, well, actually 16,384 points of information. And this was updated 20 times a second to get moving imagery. The new system, however, returns a fully populated volume of over 1.6 million beam-formed points. The ability to return multiple data points on every beam gives it another data dimension and takes the data from 4D to 5D. And it means the beamformer can potentially see around the objects in near field. It generates much fuller and much more detailed images. It also returns multiple data points for beams striking flat surfaces at high incidence angles. The increase in sensitivity means the far field is much more clearly and densely resolved in the output images. The byproduct of this is huge data sets and this made Code of Octopus develop PIPE, the Parallel Information Processing Engine. By simultaneously analysing large 5D data sets and doing this concurrently, Code of Octopus says this takes the system to its sixth data dimension, or 60. So, imagine an ROV pipe inspection survey where the pilot requires long distance imagery for navigation and obstacle avoidance, while the engineer requires high resolution downward looking image to be able to detect damage or corrosion on the pipe. The 6D pipe system is capable of generating both of these images simultaneously in real time. If you want to know more about subsea engineering, read UT2 or UT3, the online version. If you want to know more about what was going to be happening in oceanology, look at the next vid, also on sonar.